this video, we examine a black Iranian reconnaissance drone. Iran built a dark-colored drone that resembles the U.S. stealth aircraft. Many have nicknamed it Samorg, a name wrapped in mystery. If you're curious, come with me and I'll pull back the curtain on this story. The Samorg story began when an RQ-170 fell into Iran's hands. That American drone became a major lesson for Iranian engineers. Iran used that incident to launch a reverse engineering project. The result was a family of flying wing drones, of which Samorg is one. Samorg's main purpose is deep reconnaissance. Iran wanted a hidden eye that could reach far into the region. Collecting imagery, signal intelligence, and electronic collection were primary tasks. At the same time, the design allowed for possible upgrades to a combat role. Samorg is a flying wing UAV, no large tails and a smooth fuselage. This shape reduces radar cross-section and makes it harder to detect. The airframe is built from composites and radar-absorbing materials. Its outward appearance resembles the RQ-170, but internal details are domestically produced. The Iranian variant uses an indigenous turbofan engine called Tolu-14. This engine is designed for stable flight at altitude. Its power is lower than the American example, but adequate for the mission. Using a domestic engine reduced reliance on imports. Samorg is designed for long-range missions. Its round-trip range spans from hundreds to thousands of kilometers. Long endurance enables prolonged patrols and persistent surveillance. That means it can remain over an area for a long time and gather intelligence. Samorg flies at high altitude to stay out of short-range radar coverage. Its speed is subsonic and optimized for stable high-altitude flight. Aerodynamic design favors smooth, steady flight performance. This combination helps it avoid constant exposure to enemy detection. The drone is equipped with electro-optical and infrared cameras. Signal intelligence and electronic collection systems are also part of its suite. It likely carries a SAR radar variant for mapping as well. Its avionics enable autonomous flight and remote control. The flying wing shape and airframe materials are the core stealth features. Internal bays for payload and weapons help reduce its radar signature. Exhaust and thermal systems are designed to produce a lower heat trace. All of this makes it difficult for some radars to track. Although its primary mission is reconnaissance, the design allows weapons carriage. Tests and exercises demonstrated it can carry bombs in some versions. Widespread offensive use has been limited and selective. Typically, its intelligence value outweighs pure offensive employment. Smaller variants called Saika were also developed. I previously made a video about them on the channel. The idea was to keep the more expensive version limited and mass produce cheaper models. The drone family added mission variety and operational flexibility. One notable incident was the downing and capture of a specimen in 2018. That event drew international attention to Iran's drones. Iran and Israel offered differing accounts of the incident, but it became clear Iran had managed to develop stealthy drone variants. Some work has been showcased in exercises to demonstrate capability. In naval and air maneuvers, it played reconnaissance and limited strike roles. Those displays carried an explicit political and military message. Domestically, they also served as a show of technology and strength. There are reports of deployments or tests in Syria and Iraq. Some operations are classified and their details are not public. Limited use in operational theaters provided real-world experience. Those experiences helped improve endurance and navigation software. The exact number of Samorgs per boost has not been disclosed and is probably small. Cost and technical complexity are the main limiting factors. For that reason, smaller versions were produced in greater numbers. Samorg serves more as a strategic and deterrent asset than a mass-produced system. Engine and advanced sensor technology were the biggest challenges. Securing radar-absorbing materials and high-end avionics takes time. Sanctions and technology restrictions made the work harder. 
Nevertheless, reverse engineering and local production largely filled the gaps. The existence of Samorg sent a strategic message to regional rivals. It showed Iran can build or reproduce complex UAV systems. This raises the cost of countering and defending against them for adversaries. At the same time, it gave Iran's decision-makers more strategic options. Western and regional media and analysts reacted to this progress. Some called it a successful example of reverse engineering, others were skeptical. But the combination of demonstrations and operational tests proved the project's seriousness. In practice, it also shaped counter-drone strategies. Samorg's development spurred investment in domestic industries. Local firms and research centers joined the design and production effort. The cycle helped develop ancillary parts and a supply chain. The long-term result could strengthen the national aerospace industry. The Samorg platform also has civilian potential. Versions for mapping, environmental monitoring, or cloud seeding were considered. Non-military use could improve economic justification and widen applications. However, most current development has focused on military and security uses. The RQ-170 is a very advanced American platform. Samorg is inspired by it. There are differences in some parameters, but the overall functions are similar. Iran has been able to reproduce or approximate many features. In the field, it provides Iran with a stealthy reconnaissance capability. Iran is likely working to improve sensors and communication links. Upgrading engines and endurance will be next priorities. A network of drones and relay stations for effective use is also forming. These advances could increase Samorg's operational role. For the average viewer, Samorg means seeing from far away and in secret. It's a tool that acquires important information through a secure channel. This capability both strengthens defense and raises the cost of attack. So Samorg is more than an aircraft, it's a symbol of technical and strategic ability. Samorg was born from the capture of an RQ-170 and grew through reverse engineering. It is a radar-evading flying wing platform with reconnaissance and limited combat capability. Production is limited, but its strategic value is high. The project paved the way for Iran's further development of advanced UAVs.